Hey, so what's up? So today I'm gonna to be talking about a new film camera I picked up recently, and that is the Nikon EM. This is a very, very small, compact 35 millimeter film camera, and it's pretty much a auto camera. There's not a lot of settings that you have to set. You can pick your f-stop on the lens, and other than that, the camera does the rest of it for you. Um, the nice thing about this is it's pretty small. It's no bigger than my iPhone. It is thicker than the iPhone, but it's not longer than the iPhone 11. So it comes in really handy if you want to just fit it in your coat pocket. And I also bought a 45 millimeter pancake lens. So it's really, really small. And it's just, it's super easy to kind of carry every day with you and just take work. So as you can see, it is a fairly small lens. The lens is very, very small. It's just from here to here. And the camera, as you can see, it's very small. It's, you know, my hand, it's holding it. Um, I really love the simplicity of this. Other than setting your f-stop on your lens and choosing your ISO of what film you loaded, you're pretty much set on taking the photo. The nice thing is, is if your shot is underexposed, it will let you know with that beeping noise. And since the lens cap is on, it looks like it's underexposed. So it lets me know that it's underexposed when I half shutter. Um, I really love this camera. I love how small and kind of like dainty it is. I added a little shutter button, a little screw on gold cover for the shutter. But I really love this camera. Um, I just put my first sample film through it. I shot some Kodak Ultramax 400 and I metered it at 200 by mistake because I forgot to change it on the camera. So I had them pull it one stop um, so everything wouldn't be too overexposed. So I'm just gonna show you guys those photos and here they are. So I really love how Kodak Ultramax looks overall. Um, there's not many times where I've used Ultramax and been like, dang, I wish I used a different film for this photo. Um, it's just a really good um, basic film. You can buy it most of your um, Walmart or CVS or Walgreens. Um, and it's usually pretty cheap. Um, prices are going up, but Ultramax is one of the lower end films. So it's pretty easy to get a little three pack for 15 bucks or so. Sometimes they're pushing a little over depending on where you're getting it, but it's a really good film if you're um, just getting into film and you just want to test out your camera or whatever. It's not super expensive like Portra um, that's a little higher end or expired and kind of like um, the go-to film to get when it's expired. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy those photos and I appreciate if you'd like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.